I would like to thank all the speakers ahead of me, all right, which have actually made my work easier, all right, because there's always a question, all right, is semiconductor future bright? Hey, when I was actually in your position back then, right, Singap uh, I mean, a semiconductor, we, we say that it's actually a sunrise industry. And after that, right, they were saying that, hey, it seems like a semiconductor is a, is a sunset industry. The answer is no, all right? You can hear from our speaker just now, right? There's ample of opportunity. Prof 10 has shared, right, one fab is actually three aircraft carrier, right? If it's a sunset industry, right those uh, country like us china must be out of their mind right why, why are they investing so much and then you can see very well right the the top foundry as well as applied right which is a uh, nmc right a large a huge mnc they are channeling so much uh, investment into this area right and then you can see how they have been mentioning the growth so it is really a very huge opportunity that we are looking at here what kind of timeline we cannot describe, right? It's a it's a, a, a opportunity that you can see no end, right? There's actually companies that come and then when they look at places when they in, uh, they want to invest, they say that they want to ensure that the land they want to be investing in they see no end. What does it mean? It means that there's vast of opportunity to build fabs, right? Factories. Uh, uh, companies and they do not want to see ending. There's no end to, towards the land in which they want to be investing in, right? So that is one of the criteria that the top companies are looking at in Semicon. Okay, so I hope that convinced, right, the students, right, that is ample opportunity, vast opportunity, right? Okay, the next thing is that what about the talent pipeline, right? Definitely the type, talent pipeline is there, right? We have people here physically attending the session, but uh, you should know that this is a hybrid session, right? So in other words, we have in-person and we have online, okay? For those online participants, we did a check. We are actually close to 500 over people attending this session, right? So there are actually students uh, looking at this uh, opportunity, right? In addition to that, right, we just checked our LinkedIn. Um, there is actually more than 1,000 over likes in our LinkedIn. Right. So this student actually varies from Singapore, Malaysia, right, China, right, and Indian, uh, India, and then we are also looking into Vietnam as well as Japan, right. So you can see that um, there is actually the demand and the supply are there, right. So right now, what do we need to do? We need to connect both demand and supply. That is why we have this program. Okay. So without further ado, let me quickly introduce this program. Right, so for this program itself, you all know that there are various departments uh, looking into it, uh, electrical, uh, computer engineering, then we have MSE, and then we have ISEM, mainly because you have heard enough that this is a multidisciplinary uh, industry, and we need to train our students uh, to be able, or our talents to be able to be, be able to go into this industry. So this is what we are looking at. So the background uh, is talking about the need of it. I think we, I don't need to further explain on it. it. It's a very clear cut that the industry is huge, all right? The advancement is there. We need the talent pipeline, right? We need to create this talent pipeline and it's actually initiative supported by the national level as well in Singapore, right? That's very, very clear. EDB is there fully supporting this, all right? And that's the reason why NUS is actually pushing out this. And uh, for your information, uh, this was actually submitted for approval last year only in December. And we are actually thinking that probably we will start it much later. But we got the approval from MOME very fast, right? Before um, the new year, we already got the approval that we should go ahead with this program. Uh, so that is how fast it went. And then we have, after that, we have actually decided to pull in this uh, course, this program by one semester. By right, it should be starting in 2025. January, but because everything went so fast, we decided to start it in August, this August 2024. Okay, so at this point of time, we have looked into the application. We have already 80 over application uh, for the first batch, then the second batch ongoing, right? And that is even before we, we, we have this uh, official launch. So again, I will urge those who are interested, please quickly apply, right? So that is the background. Uh, the important thing is about job prospect. Okay, there's no doubt. Okay, there is a lot of opportunity in Singapore that there's a lot of uh, uh, job there waiting for you. All right. So, um, and, and as mentioned, uh, the MSC program, typically there are two types. One type is domain specific, 
and the other type is diver, diverse background. And as we know, this program is, is type two. All right, we want to ensure that our students have diverse background expertise to handle what is required in the industry. Okay, so this is what we are looking at, how we structured the program. It's not a, a, a program that we structure only internally. All right, we have a lot of interaction with the industrial partners. And you can see that this is, if despite this is a coursework, right? Later I will share with you that there's actually internship opportunity. This is the first trial, all right? In which usually coursework, there's no internship, all right? But this, we think that we need to have that because as shared by Applied, right, Arvin, we need to bring everyone closer together. We want to accelerate things. If we do it seriously, uh, in, in a serial manner, things will happen very slowly. So if we can actually stack every, everyone together, bring everyone together, interact, right, and things will actually be able to be accelerated. Okay, so that's one of the reasons. And then you can see the job prospect. It covers all kind of uh, um, levels that we are looking at the, uh, the, the ecosystem of the semiconductor. So you can go into uh, process, uh, process integration, new product introduction, manufacturing operation, all right, uh, yield test, failure analysis, uh, supply chain operation side, program management, or you name it. We, we would be able to train you towards that. All right, and then um, in terms of something called industry, the ecosystem, right? You could actually go into any design house if you want to. You can even go to application drivers like automotive uh, uh, application drivers, foundries, OSET, um, equipment material supplier, and as well as uh, government agents, agencies as well. So there's a right range of portfolio that you can actually take up after this uh, uh, program. Okay, so the program is actually structured into two baskets, that is semicon technology and the operation portion. I will not go into too detailed into it, but definitely a few highlights here will be you will know some of the basic thing in terms of technology, and uh, you should have already listened to the prior speakers that they brought up the importance of uh, photonics. So photonics is in one of the course, all right? And you should also heard, heard them talking about how predictive uh, modeling is important moving forward, all right? Back then, during our times, all right, we are talking about lagging indicators. What is lagging indicators? Indicate lagging indicators is that when things happen, all right, you see it, then you know that there's a failure, right? That is lagging, okay? Leading is a different thing. Leading is that you have already captured enough learning from lagging indicator, right? From this, all this lagging indicator, you can build model to predict what is going to happen next. And it's getting very popular, even in investment, right? People are actually trying to come out with predictive modeling to predict the investment portion, all right? Be it, you mentioned it, all right? So that's what people are looking at. People, what people want now is that there's a crystal ball in front of you, all right? You can check the crystal ball and predict what's going to happen next. Then that will actually bring more value to the table, all right? So in other words, this course itself, we will be looking into that aspect as well. Okay, the other portion here is that we need you to understand the business model of this industry as well. So the business model will be taught. So at least you know what is Semicon is all about, all right? And how is it going to continue to grow or how has it been grow and how it will it continue to grow, right? And then there's also the, uh, the joke political issues happening around us. Is it going to affect the industry? Of course it will, right? All industry will be affected. And then what learning can we gain through all this, like the COVID period, all right? And also the, um, the, the situation between the countries, all right? So all this will be also covered. And then um, how can we learn from this and how can we make ourselves stronger in terms of the industry, all right? So there will be industrial um, lecturers, okay? There's another portion here that is, uh, I'd like to highlight is that besides professors, in NUS, we will be getting um, industry experts to take up a junk position. So they will be in uh, teaching you in the lecture room um, what they have actually seen as experience in the industry. All right. So that will be a portion that will be pretty interesting. The other one is that uh, we are trying out in terms of uh, this um, um, projects as, as well as inter internship. Okay, because we want that our student to beside doing the coursework, after they know the coursework, we would also encourage the student to go for internship, right? For this um, MSC's program is coursework, right? You can actually do it within a year. There's actually 14 units, there's 10 more, uh, courses that you need to take up. But we strongly encourage our student not to rush into it, all right? That is actually internship. So if you want, it's optional. You could actually apply for the internship. So these are the companies that I will share shortly.
Okay. So beside that, right, uh, people are asking that, hey, this is for full time, then what about for part times? Will there be ample opportunity for part times? Yes, it is also open for part times. Okay, so that means assisting engineer in the industry could actually take up this. All right. In other words, they may feel that, hey, um, immediately if I have to take out an MSc program that has 10 uh, courses and then I have to complete it within one year to 1.5 years, am I sure I can manage because I'm, I, I'm already starting work? The answer is that not to be worried, we actually break it down into piece size. That means they can actually start to take one or two modules and if you do well, all right, they can actually eventually apply for GC, graduate certificates first. Then from there itself, they can stack up. They can use all these course that they have actually taken, right? And stack it up to the MSc when they have the confidence that they can actually complete it. And then you can see very well that the grad cert also structured in a way that is actually very relevant to the job scope in the industry, all right? For example, semicon semiconductor U and failure analysis, semiconductor packaging and test engineering, and also semiconductor supply chain and demand operations. Right. So in other words, this is a program that caters to a huge crowds, whether you are full time, whether you are part time, whether you are local, whether you are overseas, you have the interest, this course will be suitable for you. Right. So this is the internship. I'm not going to go into detail. Right. But this slide is important. At this point of time, when we're launching this, right, this is these are the company who are interested to engage in the internship. Okay, so I would um, mention that for this itself is very important because it actually gives the student the opportunity to work in this company, all right? And these companies are actually um, both locally and as well there's opportunity to go, go overseas. We are in talking with some other company to possibly send some of the students overseas during the summer holiday. And uh, one of them is actually applied, all right? That's planned to send the students to overseas for internship and um, the, the cost will be taken care of by the company as well, all right? It means they will provide the launching, they will provide the etiquette, all right? And uh, there will be also some allowance given, all right? So this is really very great opportunity, okay? And there's no additional cost to the tuition fee, all right? So in other words, if you do well, okay, you may even find yourself getting uh, offered a job before you even graduate. Okay. But definitely this, uh, this whole arrangement will be very carefully managed. The posting of this internship will be actually listed in the system, all right? And then after that, student can actually apply for it, okay? And then uh, the company will have a chance to interview the student and the student will be actually select, selected accordingly. Okay, so these are uh, the whole process, but I'm not going to the, go into the detail, but definitely down here, there's opportunity for you all to have good experience with well-known companies, right? So in other words, um, there's opportunity if you do well, all right, it could be also an OJT in, in, in view of that, and then you could actually get yourself a job, you could land yourself a, a good job, all right? The other thing that you can look at is that the companies are also open for not just MSC, all right? There is ample opportunity. This this um, talk itself is more than MSc, right? So in other words, the student do well and want to continue to study. Is it possible? Of course, all right. MSc is, you can see it is only a start, right? If you want to do PhD, all right, it is possible because this internship itself, that will be also small project you can work on, right? For part-time, you may say that, hey, I'm already with a company, how I'm going to go for internship? Answer is you don't need to go for internship. That company you are with, right, you can actually, start a project with that company, right? We will take you on, right? And then that project can be considered as one of your course as well, right? So it's definitely a win-win situation, right? So in other words, students who are very interested and really have great interest to go beyond the first degree, right? Beyond an MSc degree eventually, this is really a good opportunity for you, all right? If you do well, the companies are also open for scholarships. All right, if you do well, the company may even sponsor your further study eventually, right? So with that, I think I touch base. 